Hi, this is Brian with SimpleSo, and in this video we're going to cover the beat sync function in Floppytron. So in Floppytron, we have sampled a floppy drive to act as close as possible to a real musical floppy drive, and that includes the pulsing read and write head of the drive. So if we go to the beat sync page, you can see that the pulse function is powered on, and when played, the note will pulse just like a floppy drive would. And as we go down the keyboard, the floppy drive's head will pulse at a lower rate, and vice versa. However, in real life, it's impossible to sync the rates to a certain tempo, causing a bit of chaos when playing chords. So in Floppytron, while the pulse function is turned on, we can turn on sync by pressing the smaller on-off button. And now the floppy drive's pulse will sync to your host's tempo. Now still, lower notes will pulse at lower rates, however, these will be divided by quarter notes, eighth notes, half and full bar notes. You can sync the pulse rate to even, dotted or triplet notes using the buttons on the left hand side. You do, however, can set lower notes to pulse at higher rates by sliding the arrow at the bottom of the small keyboard with a quarter note maximum limit to the lowest note. It is worth mentioning at this time that while the pulse rate is synced to your host's tempo, each time you strike a key it will start a new cycle for that particular note, so I would strongly suggest quantizing your MIDI to reach a perfect sync. However, you can use this to your advantage by creating interesting patterns by playing different notes at different positions. Lastly, you can control the pulse volume with the arrow on the right hand side, and this can be also MIDI learned, which is a great feature. Or you can turn the whole section off altogether to achieve a smoother sound which is ideal for leads and pads. So this was a short tutorial about this great feature in Floppytron which I personally find very useful and inspiring and I hope you will too. Anyways this is it for this tutorial, check out SimpleSo's website for more information and more tutorials and I will see you in the next video.